If you want loud mixes, you need to stop using a limiter and exchange it for something else significantly more powerful. Let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. So if we have a waveform here like this, where we have spikes in the audio, and so this is our waveform that I just kind of scribbled on a piece of paper. So what a limiter would do is try to push everything up into what's called essentially a brick wall if you're using a brick wall limiter. And that brick wall would be up here. So what a limiter is trying to do is push everything up until it hits this brick wall. The problem with the limiter is it squashes dynamics entirely and you essentially lose everything awesome about the dynamics of your music. Now the tool that I want you to use is a clipper. And the best thing about a clipper is it doesn't try to push all of this into a brick wall. It just clips off the loud parts of the audio, preserving all of this stuff in here. Let me show you exactly how this works. So here I have a mix that sounds like this. And here I have a set of drums that sound like this by themselves. And here on the drum bus, I have a thing called the Black Saw Audio Clipper, which is clipping the signal on the drum bus. And so this is a really simple plugin. I have a essentially a gain knob going in, and then this is how much clipping is going on on the track. That is it. It is very, very intuitive, very easy to use. And the cool thing about this clipper is it actually turns the volume down, essentially but it's creating so much perceived loudness. So to show you exactly how this works, I'm gonna put it after the virtual mix rack here, which is my compression, my EQ, and all the other fun stuff that I have on my drum bus. And I want you to watch this meter over here as I turn the plugin on and off. When I turn it on, it's going to sound louder, but the signal is actually going to be lower on the bus here. See how much louder it's sounding, but yet I'm barely even hitting negative 12, negative 10 dB. But with the plugin off, it's clipping right around negative six, and it's really getting up there in volume. And when that goes to your master bus, that just adds so much volume to the master bus that it gets really, really hard to try to clean up later on. I personally like to have my clipper before my compression and other things like that, so I get a really nice tight sound going in. Now this is also something you could use on your master bus as well. You could put it before your limiter to squeeze just a little bit more headroom out of that master bus. So you can get a lot more volume out of this plugin, but this is all perceived loudness. This is actually turning the volume down essentially on your signal before it goes onto your master bus and everything else. You could use this on your master bus, but I prefer to use it on drums, specifically drums, because they're super transient heavy and they can start to squash your master bus if you're not careful. I will leave a link to that plugin down in the description below. I am not affiliated with them whatsoever. I just thought it was a really, really cool plugin and I am super, super impressed with it. So I will leave a link to that down in the description below. I've mixed hundreds of songs over the years, but I found that there are usually five things that are always true no matter what song I'm mixing. If you wanna know what I'm talking about, you're gonna to wanna to click on this video right here. In that video, I break down exactly what those five things are and how you can implement those in your next mix. So click on that video there, and I'll see you over there. Now as always, go create.